guys welcome to my channel today i'll be reading merry christmas Janina. before i left my house mouse hole i looked around carefully i had been decorating all week that's because i was having di dinner with christmas eve dinner at my place it was a tradition every year I invited all my relatives, my friends, my neighbors, my mail house, mouse, the mouse who cuts my fur, and then all other morons to my house. Yes, I guess you could say almost a half of the town spent Christmas Eve with me. That's true, Annie. It's a lot of work getting... It's a lot of work getting ready for a party, especially because I'm very particular mouse and I like absolutely everything to be perfect. I have bought a new welcome rat mat for the entrance. It showed a picture of Santa Mouse on his sleigh on my front door and i had hung a wreath with a yellow bow and i made a banner that hung guys just one sec okay guys i'm back sorry just one sec um so i had found okay i had made a banner that hung above my living room door. It said, Merry Christmas, dear mouse friend. Green gardens with holly, holly berries spruced up my living room. And of course, I had found, I had a Christmas tree this year. I had found the most beautiful fir tree. It was the perfect shape and perfect size, and it still had roots. That's right. When, when Christmas was over, I could plant it in my garden. But right now, it was decorated with plastic chili slices. I like plant. I love plants. I guess that's because I have a green paw. I can grow anything I can. This year, I had found the most beautiful fir tree. Grow tomatoes. I can grow carrots. Now I could find a plant that finds grows cheese slices. I would never have to go to the shop and nibble again. Oh well, maybe someday. I uh, hope you like it here. I whispered to my tree. Then I patted a branch. Then. Do you talk to plants? I do. I think it makes people, I think it makes them happy, but don't tell anyone. They might think I'm um, missing a few whiskers near a tree. I, I, set, I had set up a special musical ornament. It was from, it was, a present from my great grandma Tingle Fur. It had five gold angels and a and a red candle in the middle. It played Frosty the Snow Mouse when I wound it up. Now I lit the candle to see how it looked. It grin it grinned. It looked perfect. Next, I opened the fridge on a golden plate, sat a cheese-filled filling gingerbread house. It was covered in icing and some decorated with decorated with some plastic mice. Some were skiing, some were building a snow, snow mice. It was a real masterpiece. I had bought it from Sugar First, the best gourmet sweet shop in New Mouse City. The candy and cookies were super expensive, but they were worth it. Plus, I like to treat myself on Christmas. 
I read the evening's menu to myself. Fresh cheese platter. Whatever with melted cheddar. Swiss cheese souffle. Mozzarella mashed potatoes. Parmesan pie. Gourmet. Cheesy chews. Finally, I checked out my bedroom. My closet was bursting with gifts. Boxes of all shapes and sizes filled the shelves. At the bottom of the pile lay three really special gifts. One of them was for my sister Fia. She's the she is the special contour. Porn and stuff. I don't know how to say that. At the Rodents Gazette. It was the hot, latest high tech compant camera for my nephew Benjamin. I had. Okay, guys. Bought a yellow snowsuit. He could wear it skiing. He would look like a piece of Swiss cheese sliding down the mountain. For my cousin Trap, I bought a cookbook. It was written by the new Mouse City's most famous chef, Saucy Lee Paws. From my paws to yours, rest in peace, to squeak about. Saucy Lee Paws. I chuckled. No doubt this was going to be a first rat Christmas.